Here with head coach Danny Padrone following the Bulldogs' 24-21 loss to Mississippi College this past weekend at Matador Stadium. Coach, tough loss for the Bulldogs, and I know uh, it's always tough coming off a loss, but what did you take out of that game Saturday? Well, uh, after getting, you know, being sick for about a couple of days, uh, we, you know, we understand it's just part of the deal, and uh, it's, a, it's a learning process for our guys, and um, you, know, you always learn something about yourself with a loss and and, uh, and our guys played hard uh, we just didn't make the plays you know we block a field goal and I don't know how many times in practice that we've done that and worked on it and the ball bounces up to us and we take it in for a touchdown and this time it stayed down and, and we just didn't you know we could have scored right there and, and uh, several opportunities uh, drop balls misreads uh, just one of those deals we just uh, just didn't didn't have the breaks go our way uh, Mississippi College is, is well coached, and, and I tell you what, there's not a uh, classier guy than Coach Norm Joseph. He just so in that respect, it's good for them to win. They hadn't won in the conference game, and, and so we wish him the best. And, and uh, but uh, it was tough for our kids. I mean, it was tough for our coaches, and we felt like uh, that was a game that we we should have won. And, and uh, but you give them the credit, you know. And, and uh, we didn't make the plays; they did. They deserved to win. Um, with the Choctaws, I know you talked about it, the great respect you have for, for Coach Joseph there at Mississippi College. Um, did, did he show you anything offensively that uh, may have uh, surprised you a little bit? Or? No, no, we, we were prepared for it. You know, plays that we had to stop with the counter and the quarterback runs and option, we, you know, we knew all that. And, and uh, you know, whether their starting quarterback played or not, I thought they got a lot of production out of the, the other two quarterbacks and they did a good job. And, they made the plays and made first downs, and, and uh, you know our defense made some great stops. You know when our offense had screwed up, and, and uh, you know you can't turn the ball over and try to win. You know the last time we we beat them, I think they had like six or seven turnovers. Yeah, seven, yeah. Yeah, you know, and, and I think uh, that's the name of the game. And they didn't turn it over. They turned it over twice, and uh, had they put the ball on the ground a couple of times, we didn't come up with it. You know, so uh, it, it goes back to that. You know, making plays. Is there you know, a couple of plays in particular that stick out to you that you talked about the block field goal? We had a chance to return that for a touchdown and weren't able to do it. Any other plays that particularly stick out to you that you like, wow, that was inches away from us being really good? Well, they blitzed us one time and, and we had the right play called, of, you know, a little halfback in the, in the flat and, and we didn't connect. And several times we threw screens and they blitzed us and, you know, felt like we had, you know, plays wide open. And, right. And just couldn't execute them, you know. And, and uh, those are the, those are the sick times. You know, didn't convert on third down. I mean, we had a really poor third down com- conversion and uh, dropped the balls on third down. That that you know you got to have to to go on. And so, you know, uh, you know, Allen missing three field goals, and, and really, we didn't give him the, the field position to, to you know count those. It was fifty one and forty four yard field goals, pretty tough. And uh, you know, we had opportunities to move the ball on third down, and didn't get it done. We were designed to kick the field goal to tie it up, and and we couldn't convert on third down. Didn't make the play. So those are those are things that you kind of stick in your craw. And, and uh, you know, good teams are going to make those plays, and, and uh, hopefully, we'll learn from them. Uh, going to the positives, there, Colin Bodie, over 100 yards receiving for you, had a touchdown. Uh, talk a little bit about Colin's play for you this year, and particularly this past weekend against the Choctaws. Yeah, Colin's been solid. He's been a great player for us. And, he uses every ounce of his ability. He's got great knowledge of the game, and you know, being a coach's son, and uh, really intense player, and, and uh, you know, does things right exactly. Uh, doesn't have the the blazing speed, but yet he gets behind uh, defenders and makes big plays like that. You know, and you know the passes that uh, were thrown to him, and Brent did a great job, of, and Trent did too, about you know laying it in there, and, and he comes down and puts one foot in bounds. You know, those are those are great plays, and. and uh, Guys like that, uh, you know, is what we got to have all the way throughout. You guys are going to make plays, and, and Colin certainly did that. Uh, on the defensive side, Ty Johnson with, I believe, 15 tackles, and also I know that's not one thing you like to see your safety making a whole bunch of tackles, um, but uh, Bradley Snowden with 12 tackles and four and a half tackles for loss. He was both those guys very active for you on defense. Well, you know, Dylan's supposed to make a tackle. I mean, that's, that's what this, this defense is designed for. He's got to come up and – 
instead of making them for seven or eight yard gains, we need to make them for three or four. Mm -hmm. He'll get that. You know, he's he's still a freshman, you know, and and so he doesn't trust his eyes yet, you know, and and um, he's got to play a lot faster for us to to be more successful. And, and as he improves, you know, our defense is going to improve, and, and uh, that's what that position's for. And so he's going to make a lot of tackles, and his angles are improving. You know, he, he had some you know bad spots where. He took a wrong angle, and they gained a lot of yardage on it. And, uh, but overall, he's he's playing faster and getting better. And um, and so as he goes, we're going to go. You know, and, and of course Brad Snowden probably had his best game, and, and uh, he played he played really well going downhill and and, and finally getting the idea about it. And so both of those guys played well. James Fowler had another great game, and and uh, it was good to see him play. You know, with a lot more poise and, and under control, but yet. Really, really playing really good. So we had a lot of guys play good on defense. It just didn't show it sometimes, you know. Uh, they did a good job executing on offense, and we give them credit. Uh, Dylan Cope had a, another good day for you, punting the ball, got you a lot of good field position, really boomed it on several occasions there, working with and against the wind. Uh, right. Dylan just continues to, to do what you asked him to do. Well, I tell you what, we're going to miss Dylan and Allen when they graduate next year. You know, our kicking game has been pretty strong. And, and it's because of those two guys and about two great young men and, and uh, two great athletes. And so uh, they continue to do, you know, all the, all the, all the right things. Well, it doesn't get any, any easier for you as uh, every week in the American Southwest conference is not easy, but this week you go on the road to Pineville, Louisiana, you face a tough, a top 25 team in Louisiana college. It was played people tough, even in their losses. Uh, they've been ranked in the top 25 um, talk a little bit about what the Wildcats uh, will uh, pose to you this week. Well, they're solid. I mean, they are. You know, they've got what we want to get. You know, that uh, that depth and senior leadership, and and uh, you know, they're they're uh, they're very strong offensive defensive lines, and and, uh, and of course they are also well coached. But they run the football very well, and, and they're and they they throw it just as just as well. And uh, defensively, um, they'll be. Pretty tough on the off, on the defensive line, and uh, and do a great job in the secondary back there with their linebackers and stuff. So, like you said, they're a very formidable opponent. Uh, not very many weaknesses. You know, we're going to have to execute. We're going to have to be perfect on offense uh, in order to move the ball against them and to have any kind of success. What have you uh, you've been out there once before? What did you learn on that trip going to Pineville? Well, it was a good trip. I mean, it was, and, and I think you know we we learned a lot uh, from that first year, that second year about doing things, and so. Uh, this third year, you know, to be uh, experienced. Of course, you know, their their locker room is pretty far away from the field, and so you know we've got to kind of take advantage of uh, of uh, that that knowledge and being able to do some things. And so it won't be a big surprise for our players, and we'll talk to them about that. Uh, but uh, you know, I think uh, we'll be staying uh, probably about an hour's uh, away from Pineville and I'll stay at a hotel there that. Uh, We'll take care of our needs, and, and I think you know, we'll do the same thing we've been doing this past, I guess, past year and a half now. Uh, we'll be able to, to work out there and get a good start, get you know, get ready to go. So uh, nothing, nothing, anything different that we haven't done before. All right, Coach Padron, best of luck this week, and uh, go Bulldogs. Thanks, Tim. Appreciate it.